we're gonna unbox the NZXT Elite 510. Allows you to have the tempered glass in the front, so you can see these fans from the front, and it just looks sick. Now, if you are a fan of white cases, you're in luck because this computer case is white. This is the unboxing. One, two, three, lift, 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 lift. And we got it. We got one piece right here. Boom. That comes off. Very nice weight. Not too heavy. Not too light. Nice quality. Computer case. Whoa, that was crazy, right? Let's take it out of the wrap. Okay, so here's our computer case. The reveal of the NZST case. Boom. Look at that. Look at that. Nice tempered glass in the front. It's upside down, I know, I know, I know. Here we go, let's lift this up and over to the back side. Oh, it's a good size. I like the size because it's more manageable of a case than the, the 5000 from Corsair. I mean, comparing this to this, this is a very compact case. I like it. Here, check this out, check this out. Let's get a close up of the case. Boom, the NZST case right there. Look at that. The sign, I'm loving it, right, right? Very modern, very slick, very clean design. Oh yeah, looking good, looking good. I like it, I like it. Let's see, let's see what this case has to offer. Okay, so let's see the back side right here. You got a fan back here, you have thumb screws for the side. We got nice thumb screw here. Very easy to operate when you have thumb screw. Ah, look here, this front panel comes off with just one thumb screw. You only have one thumb screw. Look, right here, one thumb screw is all you need to take off the front. So let's go ahead and take out the front thumb screw. One screw right here. All right, cool. Oh, it comes out like this? What? Yo, check this out, check this out. The glass comes out like this. Oh, wow, hang on. And then what, and then what? Does it just come up? Oh, yes, the glass is very small. It's a very small glass, it's a front. So very modern, very modern. You see, like this one, you see a difference between this one? It's the whole thing is a glass. Here, it's only the front half right here. So very clean, just right here. The glass is just this part right here. Very clean, oh, it's nice, nice. I like it, very different design, very clean. That is the front of the case. Don't drop, don't drop. All right, we don't drop, we don't drop. Okay, no drop, no drop. Yeah, okay, so the fans on the side, Check this out, the fans on the side right here, we have two thumb screws for these fans. Sit the case down! Drop the case down! Put the case down! Down! Let the case hit the ground! Drop low to the ground! Put the case down, says Rosalinda! Get down with the case! Nah, we're standing up with the case. <laughs> Alright, screwdriver help. Okay, thumb screw removal. Okay, does the fan come out? Alright, I think we got it. Okay, okay, so pull this out. So here. The fan comes out, slides out of the tray. Okay, so it's attached to wires and everything. But you can see this is the fans, right? What I like about them is they have RGBs in a ring. That's gonna make them look very unique. The rings in front of this fan here. Oh, that looks nice. See, when I bought this case, I was thinking, hmm, should I put an AIO in the front? But now that I took this apart, no, I don't wanna get an AIO in the front. I wanna keep these fans in the front because these look nice already. So we'll put these back here. We'll put this back. I like these in the front. Okay, so let's close up the case. We can power these babies on and then we can add AIO in it. Oh man, if we add, if we add the pure loop cooler in this case, oh dude, that'd be so sick. Can we fit the pure loop in this computer case with the push-pull configuration? Dude, can we do that? This would be so crazy if this will fit. Can we put the pure loop cooler in the front here? I think it might be too thick though. It might be too thick. Oh, it would fit. Will it fit? Will it fit? It won't it won't clear the bracket though. No! You see, it won't clear the bracket. Dude, this will be so cool. It could almost do it, but it couldn't do it. So we can't, there's no way to keep the original fans and do a push-pull configuration. The, as much as I like the original fans in there, I can't keep them there and have a push-pull configuration with the AIO. The limitation of this case for AIO is apparent. Like on top here, you have a 140 millimeter fan at the top. But you see, there's no room for, for putting like a 280 radiator, right? Well, you can put a 280 in the front, but the 280 in the front, you cannot put it in a push-pull configuration. You, you don't have much options. On the top, you only have a 140 millimeter fan, right? There's no room here for air cooling, right? And then on the back here, you have a 120. What, what can you do with that? There's nothing much you could do with a 120. So in the front, you have a 280. So you can mount a 280 radiator, but you can either use the stock fans that come with the case because they're beautiful. You see, you'll have the RGB ring lights from the front. You can put a 280 radiator in this computer, but 
if you put the 280 radiator, there's no room for push pull unless, oh, there is. You have to take out this bar. If you take out this bar, then you could do a push pull configuration of the radiator. Yeah, you could do that. Oh gosh, I want to build it now. If we take out this bar, then we could keep the fans in the front as 280 millimeter. Then we could put a 280 AIO with a push pull configuration, keep the front fans because you got nice front RGBs. Then you have the radiator, then you have the set of fans that's optimized for performing and cooling the radiator. The front fans are just for pretty looking. You could use the front fans to cool the radiator too, but I just prefer to have the fans that come with the radiator to cool the radiator. So if I want to do that, I can remove this white bar, then I can put the, the 280 radiator that we have. We have the Be Quiet Pure Loop right here. So when you use the Be Quiet Pure Loop right here, that's a 280, then we can put that in here and then use it in the push-pull configuration like this. Oh yeah, it'll be nice. We can put it just like, ah, I think I've not dropped everything. We can put it in just like here. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. It's crazy. Ah, come on, don't scratch up the case. Yeah, we'll put it like just like right here, like this, right? So here, right here, we have a 280 and then there's a case and then you see how it, 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 can't, it can't really fit because of this white bracket. So we will have to remove that white bracket if we want to put the 280 radiator right here. But it'll be nice, it'll be so good. So we'll put, we'll put these fans on the inside. Right now, the fans are on the outside, right? So basically, the radiator is going to be sandwiched by the stock 280 fans in the front, which is two 140 fans, right? So we have the fans in the front, two of these, and then we have, we're going to have the radiator sandwiched in the middle, and then we're going to have the two 140 fans from the radiator put on this side, and it'll be good, it'll be good. Oh, I want to install it now. I want to put our computer together right now. Should we do it? Oh man, if we do it, we're not going to get any sleep. I want to do it though. I want to do it. I want, I want to put the computer together. I want this case, let me think, NDXT case with the Pure Loop Be Quiet 280.